Hi, my name is Robin Moffat. I'm a developer advocate at Confluent. Today I want to talk about how you handle timestamps correctly in KSQL DB. KSQL DB is built on top of Apache Kafka and Kafka messages have within them key value pairs and they also have a timestamp as part of that metadata. That timestamp can get explicitly set by the producer when it sends message to a topic and it'll say the timestamp for this event should be this or that. If the, if the producer doesn't set it, then the timestamp is set by the broker to the time at which it gets written to the log. So you've got these two different timestamp types that you can get within a Kafka message. And then many different types of messages will also include one or more timestamps in the payload itself. So let me show you what I mean by this. We've got a topic here called orders, and we can go and have a look at the messages that sit within that. We can see some of the metadata about the messages themselves. If we pause this here, we can see we've got, it's all from the orders topic, as we'd expect. You've got a partition information, you've got the offset information for a message. You've also got the timestamp. So this is the timestamp of the Kafka message, the metadata that sits within the Kafka message. And then we've got some headers, and then we've got the key and the value. So Kafka messages are key value pairs. Here's the key that's been set here. And then here are the fields within the value. So the value holds information about the order. So what was the order ID? What was ordered? How many were ordered? What was the address and so on? As well as the order time. So here's a timestamp that's been added by the producing application into the payload of the message. So we've got two different timestamps. We've got the order time as part of the value, and there could be many other different timestamps. You could have like order time and order placed timestamp and order fulfilled timestamp and all the different timestamps you might want to track about an order. Here we've just got the one though. So that's within the value part of the message. And then we've got the timestamp itself of the Kafka message. So let me show you how these two things come into play in KSQL DB and what we need to set to make sure that we handle them right. So here's KSQL DB and to start off with we're just going to do a select from this stream of order information. So the order information stream we created by declaring it on top of that Kafka topic. We just said in fact let me let me show you what that looked like. We said create stream uh, orders with Kafka topic equals orders and the serialization is Avro. So we ran that and this will error because it already exists, but that's what we ran. We said, here is this topic, declare a stream on top of it. So we're going to pull out the uh, order timestamp and we're going to convert it from a big int into something a bit more readable. So as a, a string with this format, we're going to pull out the order ID, just where it, the uh, item matches this particular one, and just for the first five rows, just so we can have a look at that data. So we can see here for a given order ID, you've got the order time. And the order time in this particular data set here is from June 2019. So these are when the orders actually come from, June 2019. But now what happens if we say, I would like to create an aggregate on that data based on a tumbling time window. So I would like to see how many orders have been placed for item 42 within hourly time windows. So it's a tumbling window, so starting from uh, midnight, we've got uh, hourly windows, how many orders have been placed. And so we run that, and just take my word for it, the data is all based from 2019 in that order time field. And so now when we run this, we get this weird result. It says, well, in 2021, in February, there were this many orders, and in this particular time window here, there were this many orders, but all from 2021. And we think, but the order time, the field in that payload said 2019, it was June 2019. So what's going on here? Well, when it calculates the tumbling time window, it's based on something called the row time within the KSQL DB row. So that row time is set by default on the timestamp in the Kafka message. So let me show you that and so we can actually see how to debug this and uh, walk it through. And it's not a bug as such, it's simply which particular timestamp do you want to use. So it opts for one by default. If you need to override that, we can do it. So let's walk through this. We're going to look at the timestamp of the row time. So this is the row time, this is the field that KSQL DB uses when it does those time-based aggregations. And we're going to pull that out as row time in a string. We're also going to compare it to row, the order time, and again as a string. So let's run that, and now we can see precisely what's going on here. We can see that for each message, 
it's got the order ID as we'd expect, it's got the order time, June 2019, and then it's got the row time, which is February 2021, which is when I'm recording this video, which is the time at which that message hit the Kafka broker, which it was written to that log. So what we actually want to do is we want to tell KSQL DB when it comes to row time, don't take that from the Kafka message itself. Instead, take it from order time. And we can do that when we create the stream. So taking the Kafka message timestamp isn't wrong. A lot of the time, that's what you'll actually want to do. So it's different questions that we're asking of the data. It's the difference between event time, which is what order time here is, at what time did that event occur? And then like system time or processing time, at what time was that message received onto the system? And they're different things. And depending on what you're reporting, you only want to choose one or the other. So we can tell KSQL DB when we create a stream, which field to use for a timestamp if we don't want to use the timestamp from the Kafka message itself. So here we're going to create a new stream. We're going to say orders by event time. So we're going to use that order time field, which is the event time, the, the business time of that event. And we're going to say from this particular uh, topic here, so it's the same topic, we're just telling it use the timestamp from the order time field. And if order time weren't a big int, if it were like a string, you can also specify the, the uh, date time format string here as well so that it's interpreted correctly. So now we go and create that stream, and now we've got two streams to work with. We've got one called orders, and then we should also have any moment now on the right hand side, one called orders by event time. So that one's there. So it's got the same data because it actually comes from the same topic, it's just going to handle timestamps differently. So let's run that same query as we ran before. So that's uh, this one here. And we're going to say from the beginning of the topic, show me the row time and the order time. This is from our original stream. So this is what we saw just a moment ago, which is where you can see the row time is kind of like now, it's uh, February 2021. The order time is June 2019. We're on the same thing but against a different topic. So uh, this one here, orders by event time, run query. Now we see the row time matches order time. So the row time has been told when we created that stream, we said timestamp equals order time. So take the timestamp for each of these rows from the order time field, which means when we do our aggregations, we should see that the data comes in showing as June 2019. So again, here's our window start time, which we're uh, casting into a string. Here's our tumbling window. The only difference is we're querying it from this stream here. It all comes from the same topic. It's just from a different stream. And this stream definition says, same schema, same topic, but for a timestamp, pull it from the order time field. Don't pull it from the, um, the Kafka timestamp itself. So we're gonna do that. We go and run query. And we should see that we've got these Let's uh, do that. So here's our window start times, and they're all for June 2019. In the different hourly slots, you can see different numbers of orders were placed at different points along the way. So that's how you manage timestamps in KSQL DB. If you're doing any kind of time-based processing, if you're doing joins based on time or aggregations based on time, setting that timestamp correctly is really, really important. And correct depends on how you want to handle the data. Do you want to handle it based on the timestamp of the Kafka message? Do you want to handle it based on one or a different field within the payload of the message itself that holds a timestamp that represents how you're going to handle it? Hopefully that was useful. Leave a comment. Tell me if it was useful. Tell me if it wasn't. Please do subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for many more videos about KSQL DB, Confluent Platform and Apache Kafka.